What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL and welcome back to another NBA High Five video. First and foremost, Happy New Year. We made it. It is 2021. 2020 is behind us. It was a horrible year when it comes to just the world in general. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's behind us. Thank God. Hopefully this year is much, much better. And uh, you know, just at the end of the day, it's all about just being good to one another you know what I mean try your hardest to just be cool and just a positive energy you know try to be that person who is just always positive always happy and always pushing you know positivity man because the world is already negative enough to be adding the negative shit all oh, you know what I mean to just be a Debbie Downer all the damn time you know what I mean so anyway drop a like down below comment anything in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And commenting something random in the comment section will give you an opportunity for $50. Like your boy gives away every single week. So once again, I appreciate you guys for being here as always, man. We hit 14K on YouTube. So that's what's up, man. Give y'all yourselves a round of applause. Great job. Appreciate you. Now, in this high five, as always, I'm not going to keep up too much of your time. It's 2021. Last thing you want to do is start your year off watching, me, hearing me blab for an hour. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight into it. Starting off at point guard, Russell Westbrook is not probably not going to play many back-to-backs this season. What does that mean? That means our boy Raul Nato is once again locked, okay? He is going against Minnesota. Great individual matchup. Great situation. 3-4, going to be playing 30-plus minutes. Love him here. Well, Maybe not 30-plus, but we'll say, oh, uh, yeah, probably 30. He played 32 last time Westbrook sat, and he dropped 40. So, Raul Nato at 3-4 is pretty much locked. I don't really need to explain that. When Westbrook is out, Bradley Beal is going to be also a play that is not somebody that I'm going to be trying to fade, okay? The dude's already been dropping 40-pluses all season long. He's got 40 or more in every single game so far this year. And with Westbrook out, he's got the upside of 60 like he did December 26th. So I really love Bradley Beal here. I know he played 35 minutes just yesterday. Um, if you want to fade him in GPP, go for it. Um, but in cash games with no Russell Westbrook, Beal's going to run this offense a ton, have the ball in his hands a lot, and be shooting the ball a lot. So I really love Bradley Beal a whole lot in this one. So I love him at shooting guard. Next up. I made the mistake and didn't have him last time, but still cashed. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is at home in Brooklyn going against Atlanta. Uh, the matchup is way too good for a guy like KD. KD should be over 10K. He's an absolute stud. Why he's not over 10K with like the Joe Gicks and the Giannis is, I, don't, I can understand maybe not being on as much as Giannis, but fuck, for 2,000 less than Giannis? Kevin Durant, the matchup against Atlanta alone is going to, it feels like his floor is 45 here, 5x for KD floor, I absolutely love him, he's not getting any like injury bumps or nothing like that, it's just mainly a matchup play here for me for KD, and price play, at 9-1 he just seems too cheap. Next up, I shouted this guy out last time and he hit value for us, I think he does it again, Bane. Our boy Desmond Bain, the rookie from Memphis. Remember, I shouted him out last time. He ended up dropping 25 against Boston in 32 minutes. Now you have Grayson Allen as well out for Memphis. So not only is every other guard out, but now Grayson Allen's added to the list. Desmond Bain at 3-7. Once again, expect him to drop 20 or more DraftKings points. Love him here. I'm going to go with 25 DraftKings points or more. Desmond Bain, love him at 3-7 as a value. And then another value, man. It's just value galore to start 2021 out, man. And I'm going to go Thaddeus Young. Thaddeus Young with no Laurie Markkinen against Milwaukee. They're going to need his size down there. I love Thaddeus Young here in this one. He played 27 minutes against Washington December 31st um, and dropped 31 DraftKings points, okay? He's only 3-5. Fantastic option with Markkinen out. Obviously, he's going to get 25 to 30 minutes. And in that amount of time, I love Thaddeus Young to be able to hit value here in this one. So Thaddeus Young as well at value at 3 Five and that's it. We got Raul Nato value play, plain and simple. No Westbrook, Bradley Beal, same thing. No Westbrook opportunity, balls in his hands. Sh you know, no homo. Um, taking shots, plain and simple. Kevin Durant's just a matchup price play. He's too cheap against Atlanta. Desmond Bain missing Grayson Allen to t to add to the list of people missing from Memphis. Memphis is an extremely short-handed team right now, so they're definitely a team you can take advantage of grabbing some guys at. And Thaddeus Young um, at 3-5. Other value plays that I considered at center, I do like Naz Reed. I do like Naz Reed at 5-2 against Washington. Great matchup against Washington. Uh, Washington is a fast-paced team. I like this game a lot in general. 
It's going to be back and forth. I really like this game a lot. Uh, so Washington, Minnesota is definitely a game I'm, I have interest in, and, and Naz Reed is definitely interesting to me there. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. Plain and simple, man. We're at the five minute mark, and we've already got the high five pretty much done. Starting the new year off, simple. GreenlightDFS.com to join the squad, man. We have been absolutely destroying NBA, which is just still blows my mind to this day. I've said this millions of times. It blows my mind to this day that there are so many fucking providers out here. There are so many, quote, smart, like, actual people who say they are professionals and providing and say they're the greatest and the best ever that are providing for groups of people, and we are still cashing consistently. With one lineup. Like, how are we facing so many of you pros and still cashing consistently with one fucking lineup, man? It's great. I love it. Keep it going. You know what I mean? Like, we want more of people like that in the industry to continue giving people and convincing people that they should get your lineups when you suck because that makes life easier for the squad. So I appreciate you. I want to say that. I want to start the year off by saying I appreciate you. You know what I mean? And to top that off, no negative energy. We're keeping it all positive 2021. And like I said, man, uh, everybody can always grow in some type of way. All right? You can always become a better version of yourself in some way. There has to be something you can, whether it's physically, mentally, whatever. You know, start meditating this year. Who knows? Just be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. I'm always searching for ways I can be better in my relationship, my life, my D DFS, and everything. You know what I mean? a better son, whatever, you know what I mean, I'm always working to be a better person in general, and that's really what life's about, just growing, and just, you know, being your best self, so make 2021 a good one, but I appreciate you guys for all the love 2020, let's keep it going 2021, and let's kill it, Raul Nato, no Westbrook, Bradley Beal, no Westbrook, KD, at home in Brooklyn against Atlanta, Desmond Bain, missing all these damn guards from Memphis, and then Thaddeus Young with no Laurie Markin. And appreciate you guys for stopping by as always, man. Make sure you comment anything in the comment section to get your name entered in the $50 giveaway. And I'm out. Let's keep smacking.